And uh, take it away. Here we go. Pinch hitting. All right. So uh, I, I really don't know who I am. Um, I'm, I'm, my name is not Shiri Cabral. My name is Mike. Um, if you ever uh, commit to giving a presentation, take your vitamins, uh, because if you get ill like Shiri did, then uh, you could end up having a guy show up to butcher your presentation in front of a lot of people. <laughs> um, so who am I? <laughs> Where am I? Uh, kind of reminds me of a uh, vice presidential debate or something. Um, so anyway, I'm here to talk about uh, MySQL or MySQL. I've never resolved whether it's MySQL or it's MySQL. Uh, can we take a poll? Is it MySQL? Is it MySQL? It's MySQL wins. Uh, so I'm going to talk about MySQL marinade. Uh, it's where you take a database, uh, kind of like a bunch of uh, sharks, and you put them in a hot tub, and uh, you, you mix them up, and you, you get something out of it. Uh, so the inspiration behind this has nothing to do with any of this. Don't, don't uh, let this fool you. I really don't know what all this means. Um, <laughs> the inspiration behind this was um, uh, that I really like the uh, events that Gitto puts on. Uh, there is a book. Um, I'm sure there's also a MySQL for dummies, but the MySQL book by O'Reilly is probably good uh, because O'Reilly has lots of quality publications. Uh, there, of course, is a meetup group because, as you saw in the last presentation, there are like a bazillion meetup groups for everything imaginable. Uh, so naturally, there's a MySQL uh, meetup group, not just about MySQL, but uh, about marinating your databases uh, in order to produce uh, the most robust flavor from uh, your spatial indexes and stuff like that. Uh, joining and leaving uh, are very simple uh, in this day and age. And we have discussion forums uh, so that you can talk about how to, um, uh, which spices to use when you marinate your databases. Um, the format that we use is we have one chapter per week. We have uh, some guy show up uh, who knows nothing about the topic to talk for five minutes, and then you go home. Um, the homework is on GitHub, uh, which is genius. Um, and learn about forking and pulling and um, uh, which spices to use when you marinate <laughs> your databases. <laughs> uh, you have to buy the book because that's how we sell books. Uh, there's always got to be a hook. Um, you do need access to a computer. Um, you need time. Um, and I can't help with that. I'm almost out of time. So as you can tell, I'm time challenged. Um, Anyway, um, for someone who's almost out of time, you'd think I'd stall far less than this, but I really don't know what I'm going to say next. Uh, if you get stuck like I am, uh, I'm here to help out. We can be stuck together. Um, we can stick our databases together <laughs> with <laughs> and, and we can marinate them. Uh, <laughs> and it's free. What could be better than that? Any questions? <laughs> kind of like a free gift. Is it really a gift if it's free? Um, so uh, the benefits, I, I know, I, personally, I don't know my SQL uh, or my SQL or whatever we agreed that the name was. I know SQL Server, and I, I'm in it for the badges, too. Um, on it, whether you get into uh, my SQL by marinating or a GitHub or whatever, um, it, it really is, like I mentioned before, like sharks in a hot tub. Um, uh, the hot water usually calms the sharks down, so they're not as aggressive as you think. So you could you could hop right in with them; you wouldn't get hurt. Uh, <laughs> trust me on that, but I'm not liable if you have any problems. Uh, so anyway, as you can see, I mean, really, what I'm talking about here is a timeline. Uh, by the time you get to uh, week 12, uh, you'll be able to tune your database. Um, which usually a database needs some serious tuning after you've dumped it in a hot tub to marinate with some sharks. Um, so, you know, what, what could be a better advertisement for this? Come on, join today. Come on. 